Choir master Gareth Malone believes that singing can change the toughest of lives. I know that music can bring people together under really extraordinary circumstances. In three weeks' time, these soldiers will be fighting for their country in Afghanistan. They'll be leaving behind more than 120 women and their children. Been quite a few fatalities, which is horrific. This is real, it's not play, it's not action man here, this is real stuff. These people are separated from their husbands. There's a real danger that, that they could be injured, they might not even come back. Gareth will pull these women together into a choir of military wives. I am here to lift your spirits, hopefully, pick you up, to bring your voices together to be heard. Words can't explain how much... how much I just want them to come home. If I let my guards down and let the emotion come out, I would be crying the whole day. The whole point of this is to give voice to these women and, and make people hear them, and it's amazing how much some of them hide. You want to play with the big girls? Yeah, you got to do it with the big girls. In less than eight months, Gareth will take his choir from obscurity. This law are going to absolutely rip us to pieces. Up through the ranks of the military establishment. It's about boosting morale. It's about finding pride in yourselves. I want to run away. I just want to run away. <laughs> and right to the heart of the nation's tribute to the troops with a grand performance at the Royal Albert Hall. This is like no other gig I have ever done. Gig is the wrong word. This is a ceremony. It does, it does get you. Going into a very sensitive situation with something as ridiculous and as crass as singing in a choir, it's testing what a choir is for um, and really testing it to the limit. It's early spring and Gareth is moving to Devon where he'll be staying for the next eight months. He'll start a choir with the wives of soldiers and marines based nearby, who are about to deploy to Afghanistan. It's a time where the military is just in everyone's mind. Every time I open a newspaper, there's, there's been a, a new awful story from Afghanistan. But we don't think about who's left at home. And we only ever hear about military wives when they're on the news and when something's gone wrong. When, when the chips are down and you haven't got anything else to get you through, I think singing is it's what singing is invented for. It's, it's for bringing people together, even when things are bad. I know nothing about the military, absolutely nothing, other than what I've been told, what I've seen on the news. I've never spent time on a military base. I know very little about military life. I really don't know what to expect. Gareth will be choir master at the Royal Marine Barracks at Chivener, a remote spot in North Devon. Your name is? Gareth Malone. I think this is the most intimidating place I've ever been in my life. Do you get used to it? Yeah, you do, yeah. There's been a base at Chivener since before the Second World War. Now it's a training base for nearly 1,200 men from the Royal Marines, the Army and the RAF. In just three weeks, these men will deploy to Afghanistan. How's the mood? The mood is good. I mean, we've spent a lot of time training, although you can't train too much. Yeah. Um, we're at the point now where we've done enough and we're, you know, we're ready to go. Do you mind me asking how old you are? You look young. <laughs> 22. 22? 22. Yeah. 25. I'm 28. Just had an easy paper round. Look young. <laughs> How's your wife feel? Um, we know that it's. We think that it's a bit harder for our families actually than us when we're deployed, because they still got to deal with normal day-to-day -day life. Gareth's joining family day on the base. A chance for everyone to get together for the last time before the troops leave. Morning. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Gareth Malone, and I'm going to be here for the next eight months. I want to invite anyone to come and join a choir. You don't need to be a brilliant singer, but I'm around. Come and speak to me if you're at all interested, if you've ever, ever thought about singing, if you sing in the shower, 
and it's about bringing everyone together. Tumbleweed. I'm starting a choir. You could look at that one. Thanks. <laughs> I'm starting a choir um, for for the wives and girlfriends and anyone who's left behind while the troops are away. Do you sing? No. And you're deploying in three weeks. Yeah, roughly three roughly weeks. Roughly three weeks. Yeah. How are you, how are you feeling? I'm not so good about it. Is it the first time? Yeah. Big deal. Yeah, it is. So. The, the whole purpose of me being here is to offer you something to do, something to sort of take your mind off what's going on right, yeah. while they're away. Would, would you be interested? Yeah, 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 definitely. Good. Yeah. And yeah. Have you heard that I'm here to start a choir? Yes. Word travels fast. Yeah. Uh, are you interested? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeses. <laughs> Hello. George. Hello, George. Nicola. Hello, Nicola. Hello. Do you sing? Do I sing? What does she sing? Everything. So you'd be interested? Almost definitely. Great, I like almost definitely. That's, <laughs> that is without question the most we positive see, response I've had. Are you in, interested? Well, yes, but um, you haven't heard me sing yet. So. No. <laughs> what, what do you rate her chances? I think she's going to be outstanding. Good, yeah, absolutely. That's no lovely. pressure at all. I don't envy anybody to pull these individuals into a choir. You know, soldiers are, are soldiers and, uh, and, and they are trained um, and do obey orders for good reason. Um, wives clearly don't fall into that category and rightly, rightly so and, and they never should. They will have their own views on issues, the ways that they want to do things, uh, which I think will just add to the challenge of uh, trying to form them into a choir. It's so strange that here we are drinking cups of tea and coffee outside and enjoying the weather and having a nice fate and these guys are going to war in three weeks and they'll be in Afghanistan and everyone's going to be worried about them. So it's just going to be such a strange atmosphere on the base after that. It's the calm before the storm. <laughs> 280 houses make up the married quarters known as the Patch. Standing on the perimeter of the base, it's where the majority of troops live with their families. It's quite a dull place, but there's, no, there's nothing apart from all the houses. And the houses seem to vary depending on what rank you are. It does feel very remote from the rest of the world. We're only about half a mile from Barnstable, and yet we're in a little enclave. I wonder if they have any interaction with the outside world, frankly. It's very claustrophobic, so you're right on top of everyone that your husband works with. There's no getting away from them. Soldier's wife Nikki and her family moved to Chivener only a few months ago. It's her fifth base in 10 years. She thinks Gareth's choir could make all the difference. It's hard to meet people, I think, because there is a big, big cross-section of uh, all, the, all the, the services. There's cliques of people. What happens is you get parties, mess functions, and those wives go to them. The other wives don't, because they're another regiment or something. You make acquaintances, not friends. And you need things to bring people together. You do need things. Having a choir here, it's going to be brilliant. I can't say that I actually have ever seen the commanding officer's wife, so I don't know who she is, <laughs> to be honest with you. I know where she lives, and I, I hear people say she's a lovely lady. I'm sure she is. Gareth wants to spread the word on the patch that his first choir rehearsals are about to get underway. Hello. Hi, I'm not a mum, I haven't got a baby. Hello. Stacy. Stacy, hi Stacy. Hello. Hi, I'm Gareth, the local choir master. Hello. So what 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 is there to do for you while you, while your husbands are away? Nothing. Really. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Just the long, counting the long days. So what about singing? I'm starting a choir. My dream is to be able to sing. Your dream? Aww. I'm going to make that dream come true. Thank you. I hope, he said. I, hope. Yeah, yeah. I used to be in a choir. Oh, great. <laughs> when? Uh, when I was like from 12 to 17. Oh, brilliant. So you know what you're doing. <laughs> nice to meet you. Would you like to, can I hear your voice? No. OK, that's mean, isn't it? Brilliant. Well, it's really nice to meet you all, and I will uh, let you know. I will put a notice up. See you again. <gasps> What's in here? Not <laughs> talk. <laughs> Sam's husband John is in the Royal Engineers. At 27, he's
he's about to deploy to Afghanistan for the first time. It's a mixture of emotions. Like, you feel guilt because you think, God, have I forced you into the army to give us a better life? And then you're angry that they're going. Like, you know, everything just feels so tense. Sam will be left to look after their two young children. Brody has autistic spectrum disorder. He's, he's not developed at his age. He's, he's seven, but he's more at a sort of four-year-old level. Yeah, life, life can be difficult, because obviously Brody's behaviours can be really challenging at times, and... But I wouldn't change it, though. I'm really up for the choir. I love singing, and I think my husband will have a bit more peace of mind that, you know, I'm going to be occupied and kept busy, so then I think if you're kept busy, the time will hopefully go quicker as well. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> It's March, and after months of preparation and training, deployment day has arrived. Some 600 men will say goodbye to their families and leave the barracks for six months in Afghanistan. For Nikki, it's the fifth time husband George has been deployed. We've done it before, but it's always different. All the feelings, because the children are older and... and they know what's going they on. They know what's going on, yeah. I thought he wouldn't have had to go again, because um, he's done what, George? 20? 20, 20, 20, just oh, over 21 years. 21 years, I thought he'd um, done his bit. But you have to get on with it. We've, cho we've chosen this lifestyle, so... and. Um, and that's how it is. Here you go, chicken. Which one's yours, that one? My stomach's churning. How many hours have we got? Um, three. Three hours to go. Three hours to go. It's up a leak. Major Williams. <laughs> cool Thompson. It's up a Maitland. The build-up to going, and um, it's just, it's just horrendous to be honest with you. Captain Pierce. It never gets any easier. It, you still have that worry. What if, you know, you dread that fear of um, the knock on the door. Top Sergeant Bull. Major Wilson. Being told, right, okay, you're going off, is um, frightened him. Really frightened him. And. Um, he goes through a lot of emotions because of it. Captain Grant, Sapa Maddox. When he says goodbye to me, is that going to be his last goodbye? Oh, God, sorry. It's like a ghost town here. There's nothing, there's just nothing going on. Last week there were soldiers around and people driving about. Now it's just, it's really quiet. Today is Gareth's first rehearsal for his military wives' choir. The chapel on the edge of the barracks will be their base for the next few months. They're at a real low point. Their husbands have just gone, I mean, literally, last weekend. And I think a few of them probably haven't ventured out of the house very much. So this is the, this is the time to be having fun, getting them, getting them going. I don't know how they're going to react to that as well, you know, whether they feel it's appropriate while their husbands are away for them to just be having a, a nice time doing some singing. Ten minutes to go. There's nobody coming yet. It's a bit worrying. It actually hadn't occurred to me that I wouldn't have people turning up. I'm just going to guess you're here for the choir and not going to the military base. <laughs> you're here for the choir. Brilliant. Thanks for coming, Susie. Who's this? This is Jack. Hi, Jack. Hello. Hi. I take it you're here for the choir? Yeah. Hello, come on in. Hello, hi. 